Salutations. Welcome to Strategy and Analysis Center. Today's briefing, China's new stealth submarine, Type 039C. According to Chinese sources, the Type 039C conventionally powered submarine has been commissioned into the PLAN, that's the Chinese Navy. What does this tell us about the Chinese Navy's conventionally powered submarine program? And what is the significance of this particular submarine? I'll refer to it as the 039C, although some call it the 039D. If I can ask at some stage during the briefing uh, to hit the like button, it really helps the channel get to a wider audience, so thank you. In this briefing, I'll use the term stealth in a very broad way. Starting point for this brief is the type 039B seen here. And the 039C is a modified 039B. Basic hull appears to be the same size and it has the same rudder configuration. The 039B is itself an evolution of earlier models and in some ways this is a similar approach to earlier PLAN destroyer evolutions. So the 039C, let's look at the shape first. Most notable change is the sail and the upper or deck casing. This casing is uh, longer and more angled than on the 039B, possibly providing more space and improving stealth. Now, the sail is, as you can see, completely different with a very angular appearance. While surfaced, this should improve stealth, again, in a, a very broad sense. And the shape should reduce eddies and improve acoustic signature while submerged. Note that the 039C is smaller than the Japanese Taigei class, and it's around the same size as the Australian Collin class, just to give um, perspective. In terms of systems, we should also expect that the boat's systems, including sonars, are improved, given that it's approximately seven years between the first of the 039B boats uh, being laid down. An unknown is, is there more space in the newly shaped sail? It is likely that Totoraid sonar has been added, and if so, this would deliver improved anti-submarine warfare capability over other PLAN SSKs. In terms of propulsion, we should expect this version to have AIP, as previous versions have, although it is possible it is using lithium-ion batteries. Note that Japan modified the last two boats of its Soyuz class to lithium-ion batteries and removing the AIP. If equipped with lithium-ion batteries, this would improve submerged endurance and allow faster battery recharge, thereby reducing time surfaced. In terms of weapons, there are two main options. The YU-6 torpedoes, wire-guided dual-purpose, so anti-submarine and anti-ship, with a range of up to 45 kilometers, and the YJ-18Bs anti-ship cruise missiles, with a range of greater than 200 kilometers. Now, I note here some some sources say that the range is over 500 kilometres, about 290 nautical miles or 550 kilometres. Uh, but the source I'm using, which is linked below, suggests uh, 216 kilometres, 120 nautical miles, as more likely. And also noting that submarine launch versions of similar missiles normally have a shorter range compared to surface or air launched uh, versions. Also note that there is no VLS on the 039C. Now some say that the 039C is a copy of the Swedish A26, but the A26 has not yet been completed. It was only laid down in June of 2022, with the 039C being commissioned in uh, July of the same year. The sail is, is a different shape. Broadly, it looks like the same approach, but it's a different shape. The sail mounts differently to the hull, the A26 has an X-form as opposed to the cruciform rudders on the 039C, and the A26 is significantly smaller than the 039C. So how might the 039C be used? Given the more stealthy design while surfaced, there's a possible use for special forces insertion and retrieval. Could be used to launch long-range anti-ship cruise missiles from more protected waters close to the Chinese coast. Design should also help to hide the boat while snorkeling to recharge batteries. 
thereby allowing it to stay on operations longer and further out to sea. Beyond the first island chain, the 039C could threaten US development uh, deployment sorry, of ground forces and logistics resupply to Taiwan by way of its long range anti ship cruise missiles. So, both more stealthy on the surface and submerged, and with IOP, allows the 039C to be used across a variety of missions in both shallow and open waters. What's the future for the 039C? Well, it could be a one-off to trial the design and other technologies. It could be to confirm the design and then lead to serious production on the current hull form. Or it could be to confirm the new sail design that could be then used on a new hull design. At this stage, there is no concrete evidence to suggest which way the PLAM will go with the 039C. Should we see another 039C completed within the next 12 months or so, it would likely indicate that the 039C in its current form has entered serial production. Now there is some discussion out there that a second 039C is being built, but I'm yet to see um, photographic uh, imagery that would uh, confirm this. China continues to invest not just in producing conventionally powered submarines, but to invest in technological developments to further improve the capabilities of these submarines. The Type 039C is a heavily modified 039B, not a new design. With a stealthy signature, both on the surface and submerged, with AIP, long-range anti-ship cruise missiles, and a good ASW suite, it appears as though the Type 039C is designed as a full-spectrum, conventionally powered submarine very capable in both littoral waters and open seas. As a final point, not only are conventional boats, as long as they can deliver the required capabilities, cost effective, sometimes they are a better capability option than a nuclear powered boat. That concludes today's briefing. Uh, thank you for watching. Happy to take suggestions for future briefings from subscribers, so please subscribe, like and share. Until next time, Baleta Serre.